All right, so you had JoJo Fletcher. This is one thing I don't understand about the Bachelor Bachelorette. Uh, Petros Papadakis, senior uh, Bachelorette correspondent for The Herd. I thought you had me in here talking USC or, you know, they dumped Puig yesterday. But No. <laughs> okay. So explain the – you start on Bachelor, you go to Bachelorette. Just give me a 30-second summation okay. of this. Okay. Well, this started out where they used to find, like, somebody relatively upwardly mobile in society, like the Firestone heir or Jesse Palmer would be the Bachelor. Uh, but now they just pull from their own pool of people that want to be on TV that the country already knows. So if you were a contestant on The Bachelor, like JoJo was, and you didn't make it, but the country liked you. You go uh, to the Bachelorette. You might be chosen to be the Bachelorette. Uh, if you're somebody more ancillary, you might be chosen for a spinoff show called The Bachelor in Paradise. But it's all a trick. And like you said, I hosted a reality show. So tell me about this. It is a trick. What do you mean by that? Uh, in, in the way that, and I just gathered this. I knew the director of The Bachelor for a while. I knew a couple of the camera people. I mean, reality people are incestuous. They they work on all these different shows all over the world. Survivor, Amazing Race, Pros vs. JoJo. The Bachelor, Bachelorette, camera people, sound people, they're all the same. And the trick is, much like the real world, after the Boston uh, season for MTV, they took the TV away. Because all they would do is smoke weed and stare at the TV. Right. Uh, so uh, they took it away and they started to interact more and they got more drama. So this has come to the nth degree now in 2016. They take the TV from these guys. They take their phones. They take email. You know, the stuff that we're all obsessed with. And they put you in a competition where there's one object. You have a producer, a smarmy guy. <laughs> I'm kidding, too. I'm kidding. A sign to you to say, you know, well, do you think you'll ever find love? Do you think he didn't like you because, you know, you have one eye that's blue and one that's green? And they get the waterworks going. And they really find a way to manipulate young people who already want to be on TV. So let's be honest about that. I could never go on television and do this show, even though I can host a radio or a TV, uh, 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 you know, show. I couldn't do this. Who are these just fakes? Are they models? Are they actors? What are they all fakes? I think they're all different people who are comfortable being, you know, making out with their tongue on camera. Uh, whether that's, you know, a guy who has a radio show, there's a FM radio guy this year, models, uh, the guy who became the big villain was a, a luxury real estate agent in Tulsa. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Well, yeah. that's, that's some luxury. I don't want to sound like a bad guy, but I don't know how much the most expensive house in Tulsa is. Okay, so there are a variety of people. Let's talk about Chad the bad guy. I missed out on that. That okay. was a big hot thing for like a month. Clay Travis was in on that. Who was this guy that was beating people up? Well, he wasn't. He just threatened a few people. Okay. But he was like this really swole guy, all ripped and probably cut some weight and did some steroids before he showed up. I okay. mean, he looked that uh, <laughs> that defined. And he's a former Marine, so he's kind of scary in that way. He talked about ripping people's arms off and okay. having their torsos float in the pool. Okay. But he wasn't so scary as to where they wouldn't book him for the show last night, the show the week before, the little live shows they do to wrap around the content the last couple weeks. And he's going to be on tonight in Bachelor in Paradise in a show in Mexico. So how much of a villain, how dangerous and how violent could he be? They act like he's a bad guy. They need him and love him. JoJo Fletcher was a very attractive girl, um, and, and she chooses Jordan Rogers over Robbie Hayes. Also problematic, Colin. Why? Because you can't – somebody who wants to be on The Bachelorette obviously is comfortable and wants to be famous, wants to be in the tabloids, wants to throw out the first pitch at a game. Yeah, I saw JoJo do it at a Dodger game. Not a bad throw. Uh, you can't put somebody else who's relatively famous – uh, starting SEC quarterback, now working at the SEC Network, that walking asparagus, uh, Jordan Rogers. You can't put him on the show. She's obviously going to pick the guy who's famous because she wants to be famous. The thirst is so real for her. This happened with Aaron Murray, the Georgia quarterback's older brother, yeah. was on, and he was chosen by a girl from Atlanta, the bachelorette, a woman named Andy. So it's it was so disingenuous to start because she was always going to pick the guy who was going to help her be more famous. Do you feel that Robbie Hayes, his heart was truly broken? Or is it baloney? I think in the moment, you know, I think when they, you've had everything taken from you and you're, you know what it's like to be traveling with a production. You've had everything taken from you. You're being talked to constantly about this woman who's the object of, can you spend the rest of your life with her, blah, blah, blah. Now it's been three months, you're in Thailand, and you get left alone? Yeah, I think he was heartbroken. You know, I think he's going to bounce back because a lot of people feel bad for him, and he'll be on these franchises for the rest of his life. Okay, do you believe JoJo Fletcher and Jordan Rogers are still together by next weekend? I think it's going to end relatively <laughs> quickly. Once once, once they let, he works for the SEC Network, once the... Uh, once the preseason games are over. And it gets once, like once Alabama, Tennessee. Start, yeah, once he gets out to Gainesville for a Western Kentucky game or something, she's going to realize that broadcasting was not as glamorous as she thought.